at Indiana Wesleyan University, they asked us to make a life sentence. And my life sentence is father to the fatherless. Paul talks about his weakness being his strength. Well, not having a father is my weakness, but yet the Lord makes it my strength. Not really having a father, I felt really obligated to, to be a father to the fatherless and um, to take care of children that have broken homes and to just nourish them in the words of Christ in my actions. Uh, I realized that the person I love children. I think I get my energy mostly from children, how they, how they think and how they smile and just all their feelings and how they are able to show how they care. And plus the childlike faith. So if I want to keep childlike faith strong, you got to be around children. Being a teacher, you have so many personalities you have to manage. And so I would taught me to love them unconditionally no matter what they bring to me because my responsibility is to be a world changer in that sense. When I wake up in the morning, I honestly look forward to impacting someone each and every day. I started working and I landed my first corporate job. Realized as I was working in corporate that I wanted more. So I settled in to Indiana Wesleyan and, and got a business management degree. The devotions and the class environment was different for me. At the same time, it sparked something in my faith that I didn't even know could happen from a class environment. Then as I continue on into the program, being able to see how I can be a servant leader, even in the, the business aspect, how I can still have those same principles and work in the corporate world. I'm a manager and I'm able to do that with my staff person where I serve her, but I'm leading at the same time. Now I, I feel called to work with women, to pour into women. It started out just me blogging. And the next thing I know, um, speaking engagements came, radio came, and all of these different things just from being obedient. And, and now there's this pool of women that I get to pour into all the time. I'm able to now see that this is what God wants me to do. I just want to be able to make a difference in one person's life. And if I can do that, then the day was great. <laughs>